Have you recently purchased a new or used vehicle? Or perhaps you're researching for a new or used vehicle, but you're wondering how to set up and use all the technology that we find in a driver's information system and the infotainment screen. If so, you're at the right place. Hi folks, I'm Nathan with Two Guys in a Ride, and today I'm gonna to show you how to do just that. But before I do, take a moment to give us a like and hit that subscribe button down below. Let's get started. Today we're working with our friends at Mankato Nissan in Mankato, Minnesota. Welcome to our how-to video on the 2021 Nissan Armada. This is a platinum trim level. And uh, so we're gonna start by talking about the driver's information screen, and then we'll talk about the infotainment screen. So uh, on the driver's information screen, you control that with these buttons right here on the left side of the steering wheel. So you got a left, right arrow, a push for okay, and up and down to go up and down menus, and then a back button. And so the, in order to access the menus, you're gonna use the left or right arrows. And as soon as I do that, you're gonna see all these icons on the bottom. Okay, these are your main menus. So we're gonna kind of make our way across. This is the home menu right here. And of course, in here I've got my media showing, I've got my speed, and then a compass. If I go over one more to the right, I've got my just my digital speed and my average speed showing. Then over here, I get fuel economy. Next one over here, I've got navigation. This will be where I get my turn by turn uh, showing up. And then if I go over here, I, this is just media, and it, right in, the, in this one, if I press OK, then I can switch my sources if I want. Press OK on it, and then it comes up. Now, I'm gonna go to my right again. This is where you have some auxiliary gauges. You got oil and battery. And then if I go over again, this is your cruise control. So if I turn my cruise control on, uh, you can see the display there, and then I can adjust my gap setter right here. You can see that. All right, so, uh, and then your lane sentry will show up here as well. Now, if I go over here one more, I can see that I've got forward uh, collision, and I've got lane assist, and I've got blind spot. And if I click this button here, this is what activates it, but the uh, button uh, below the stream on the left that I showed you when I was outside the car does the same thing. All right, and then I'm gonna go back here and I'm going to go one more to the right. This is tire pressure and it'll show up while you're driving. And if I go one more, I get speed limit sign recognition. And if I go another one, in the warning review screen here, uh, it'll throw in any items that it needs you to check. So, you know, maybe you have an upcoming mileage check or uh, upcoming oil change or something like that. Okay, if I go one more, I get the gear setting. Now, this is where I get to driver assistance. So, I got all these things. I can use this switch here to toggle through them. So, we'll go through a, a few of these, but all of them work the same way. So, if I go to driver assistance, okay, you got all these different things. So, if it, if it doesn't say on or off, you click on it, and then you have a choice. Do I want emergency brake on for the front and the rear? And if I don't, I just click one and it takes it off. Click it again and it comes back on again. And then this is where I would use my back button. If I go down to lane, I can have lane departure warning on or off, and I can have the prevent lane uh, departure prevention on or off. I hit the back button again. Uh, we'll do uh, a couple of these ones here. This is speed limit sign that, that shows up in your uh, instrument panel. You can have that on or off. You can see that turning on or off in the top part of the screen. Driver attention alert, same thing. You got, uh, let's see, let's take a look. Um, low temperature alert. Okay, you can have that on or off. I'd imagine you would want that on. Okay, so now I'm gonna hit the back button and I'm gonna go back to tire pressure setting. Okay, I can set the units here by clicking on the OK button and then scrolling through all these different choices. So I hit the back button again. I'm gonna hit the back button once more time. I'm gonna go down to vehicle settings. I'm gonna click right here. Now, here you can do a whole bunch of things. We won't go through all of them again, but you can follow the same kind of procedures to get to them, and if you watch the directions, it should be self-explanatory. So, lighting. Here, I can have the auto room lamp on or off. I can have auto headlight set as standard turn on earlier or turn on earliest. So if your date, if your uh, auto lights aren't coming on quick enough or they're coming on too early, you can adjust that right here. 
hit the back button. When you get out of the car at night and your lights are on, you can set the lights to turn off after a delay anywhere from zero seconds to 120. Oh, excuse me, all the way to 180. I'm gonna hit the back button again. Locking. Okay, so exit door switch. The exterior door switch can be turned on or off. Selective unlock can be turned on or off. And then auto door unlock. If the ignition's off, shift to park or off altogether. So that means the doors would um, auto unlock if I shift to park, auto unlock if I turn the ignition off, or that function doesn't work at all. All right, I go back twice. Driving position here. So I can set the seat to slide backwards uh, when I am done and I've turned the vehicle off and I can set the steering wheel to do the same thing, to go telescope all the way in and up. It just, it's an easy ex exit uh, process. And, and then when you get in and start the car, everything will go back into position. I hit the back button right here. The rear door alert. You can have a horn and alert if you want, or you can set alert only or off. Now, most of these will all work the same way. Uh, so let me go back again and uh, we'll take a look at the customized display. So main menu selection, if I click on that, okay, these are the things that are check marks. If they have an orange on them, uh, they're, gonna, they're gonna show. So you have a home screen, speed, which we had, drive computer, we didn't have that one on our display, but if I click the okay button, now I'll have it. Okay, fuel economy we had, navigation, audio, cruise, um, the uh, safety systems here, tire pressure monitoring, speed limit sign, and then we're back to home. And if you didn't want something on, just click the OK button, it turns orange. And then when you use your left, right arrows and you just go through all those little icons that are at the bottom, then those things will either appear or disappear. And that's where you uh, are, will either show up or not show up. And that's where you set that. I'm gonna hit the back button here, route guidance. Okay, you can turn alerts on or off and that will be for navigation the back button and then you can have the welcome effect uh, you can have the gauges come up and you can have the animation on or off I right, hit the back button again I'm gonna hit the back button one more time I'm gonna go down here you can select your unit or language here and do a factory reset if you mess up completely okay so now I'm gonna hit the right arrow again and you can see here I am back to my home screen so that's all the information that's in the driver's information screen. Next, we're going to move over to the infotainment screen. All right, so on the infotainment screen, it is a 12.3 inch screen. It has wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, AM and FM radio, HD radio, Sirius XM, Bluetooth, and a 4G Wi-Fi LTE hotspot. And it, the sound system itself is a 13 speaker Bose audio system and sounds terrific. So you can control it through touch screen right here. You do have these buttons here, but they are built into the screen. They're not actual buttons. And then down in the center console behind the shifter, you do have another uh, uh, controller here, the command controller. Uh, with shortcuts around it that you can use. For our purposes, I'm going to be using the touch screen. All right, so on the top here, you got the, the menu that you're used to your scene. So basically, if you want to go to phone, you can click here and you're going to get your phone book, call history, dial number, text messages, connections, all that kind of stuff. I, I don't have my phone hooked to it, but if I did, all those things would show up. Under info, Okay, now you've got a bunch of different choices you can go in, but you can get notifications for your vehicle. You can get, this is tied to uh, Sirius XM, sports scores, fuel prices, parking, movie listings, um, uh, weather. And if I use this arrow over here, I can do where am I? I can get weather from TomTom. Tom. I can get system information, GPS position, uh, just a lot of different things. Uh, we'll show you one here. So here I can say I want uh, current conditions. Oh, it's it's turned off. So, it, but if 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 it wasn't, that's you, that would pop up right there. Using the back button up here. Okay, so that was under uh, info. If I go to audio, I'm going to get my. Uh, Sirius XM right here. So here's here's how this works. Your sources are up here. So you can pick any of the sources that are hooked up. And if I go back, 
Um, if I want to look at a, the menu, okay, I can set up some things right here. I can go back. Um, these are my presets down here, and you can see how many different screens of presets I have. So if I scroll, you can you can see those. Uh, I mean, it's just there's a lot. Now, all you got to do to press one is press and hold, and then it changes. Okay, then now now it's a favorite. Okay, you can look at categories in uh, uh, Series XM if you want, and otherwise you got a, you know a play and a, a backwards and a forwards button. All right, if I go to FM and AM, it's going to look quite similar. So again, you would just press and hold to store. Uh, you could take a look at the source, the uh, FM menu right here. Let's see, I didn't touch that quite right. Okay, so I can look at the different stations here. I can scan. I can do radio, turn on radio text if I have it there. Refresh, manage presets. All right, and if I go to AM, it's gonna look quite similar. All right, and then of course you, you know you could actually always type in a number if you want. Okay, and then you have an HD radio button where you can turn on or off right there. All right, so uh, if I go back here from Source and I go back to Sirius XM for a minute, okay, the way that you adjust in any of these screens, like the bass, the treble, the fade, all that stuff. It's right here. So if I push once, okay, I get bass. If I push again, I get treble. Push again, I get balance. Push again, I get fade. So that's really nice. I made that really easy to get to right in that screen. And that works for any of the media screens. Okay, I'm gonna go from, uh, let's see. We're gonna go back to, um, back to home here. I'm gonna again use that button down in the, uh, the command control down behind the shifter. Okay, so this we're of course right now on the uh, on the the main menu. I'm gonna get back to this for a minute because there's a way to customize this screen, and, and I'll show you that. But let's continue with these main buttons here. So here's your navigation map. For whatever reason, it's not actually bringing up a map, but it does work fine. It was displaying the map on the way over here. You've got some simple things here. They do leave your phone connected right here, which is nice. You've got at home destinations. Look at the POI at destination. Zoom in or zoom out, zoom in. And then right here, if you go into settings, um, now you're looking at. Um, if I go to navigation, here's where you can make all of your um, kind of one-time settings. Like, I want to look at guidance settings. I want to set the volume for the person speaking the directions to me. I want to set my route preferences, and you can do that there. But these are all sort of your one. I go to it one time, I make the changes, and I really never have to do that again. All right, so I'm going to go back to menu for here a minute, or map. Excuse me. Let's just go look at POIs, and I'm going to just say spell name, and I'm going to do McDonald's. Okay, so I'm going to hit start. Turn left after a quarter of a mile. Okay. To, to cancel the route, they leave it real, make it really easy. The button's right here. Uh, and cancel the route, yes, just to confirm it. So uh, entering that way works just fine. I'm sorry the map isn't showing it. I think, again, I think it's just the location that we're in, but it, it, it does work. Um, all right, so I'm gonna press that home button that's on the command uh, control center down here by the shifter again, and we're gonna go to connections. This is where you would look at adding a new phone, setting up your Wi-Fi, or taking a look at a USB that you have connected. All right, um, let's do it. Let's go to settings here. Now, settings we've seen a little bit before, but this is again where the connections are, and that's uh, the screen we just saw. We already did navigation. If you want to do go into sound here, you can do this. The only thing that you get in this menu that you don't get by pushing here is the speed sensitive volume control. So again, that will, as, as the car goes faster and gets noisier, it raises the volume, and as it gets slower and uh, less noise, it lowers the volume. All right, you have your Nissan Connect services there. You could go in here and set your clock. And again, we're under settings. Uh, you can adjust all the volumes and beeps here. This, th this truck has a lot of dinging, a lot of beeping uh, for different things. So this is where you can adjust a lot of those right here. 
right? If you see a little arrow, that means you have another screen. So we can go down here. Uh, you can look at your parking sonar and you can make some settings right there. It's a simple click to turn them on or off. And then um, you can look at system updates here. So if I look at software update, um, it's auto. So it will automatically download updates for you. And then you have a separate map one. On your camera button here, you can take a look at moving, or you can set moving option, object detection, unviewable area reminder, predictive course lines, and auto show sonar image. And those are all on or off, just a simple click. All right, let's 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 go back here to this screen because this is where you can customize some of the things. So these ones over here, um, and we'll, I'll show you about this in a minute, but that's, that's uh, what they call a widget. So you can just set some things in there and there are some things you can pick. So in this screen, you notice the three dots you have. So you do have, you can scroll back here and get, you can customize things. You can go back here and take a look at sort of the, this setup or you have this view. All right, so let's go back here and let's say customize home menu. So first of all, um, I've got three different possibilities. So I can have this view, this one, or that one. So let's say I do that one. Okay, then I say, well, um, I want something else over here. So if I click and hold on this, I can drag this down here. I would like to replace that one, yep. And let's say I go down here, click and hold and drag to phone, yep. But now I take, I scroll over here, I take my phone and put it down in this one, and then I'm gonna leave the home one. Okay, so now if I go back, now I have what I just set up. All right, now let's say customize split screen. So over here, I can have weather, Tom Tom current weather, Tom Tom five day forecast, digital clock, analog clock, and I can also have audio sitting there, turn by turn, and current conditions. So might be nice to have like your audio there and then back in in this screen here you can just have your map showing so you have that right there um i'm gonna press that menu button at the bottom by the behind the uh, shifter again on the command controller okay and that's the infotainment screen uh, i hope this has been helpful thanks for watching